Here at the Met Office, we've just published our annual State of the UK Climate Report for 2019. It's a report that looks at weather observations across the country for an entire calendar year. It's the sixth time we've made this document and it's really important because it then puts the current UK climate into historical context so that we can then really examine just how our climate is changing. The State of the UK Climate Report looks at not just 12 months of weather, but also the past decade and compares both to the long term average. In this country, we are very fortunate to have some of the oldest and best kept weather data observations in the world. So we can make detailed comparisons and monitor closely the changes we're experiencing. So what does this report show? Well, that 2019 was a little sunnier than average. It was also wetter than average, but it really was the temperatures that were most important through the year. We broke four significant temperature records. The all-time UK temperature record was exceeded when we saw 38.7 Celsius on July the 25th in Cambridge. We also had the UK's warmest ever winter's day, over 20 Celsius recorded for the first time. We also experienced the highest December temperature and the mildest February night on record. Interestingly though, no national low temperature records were set through 2019. And despite uh, lots of high temperature records being broken at individual locations and on certain days. Overall, the year was only the 12th warmest on record, but that's still pretty high up a list that goes back to 1884. And it was still warmer than any other year before 1990. And in fact, all of the top 10 warmest years in the UK have occurred since 2002. Looking at the last decade, that was 0.3 Celsius warmer than the most recent climatological average and 0.9 Celsius, almost a whole degree warmer than the average from 1961 to 1990. 2019 was the sixth consecutive year with fewer frosts than average and it was also one of the least snowy years on record. I mentioned earlier that rainfall over the year was higher than average, which is consistent with recent patterns, but several months in the first half of the year were actually drier than average. The report also notes that there were a number of instances of significant flooding. For example, severe flooding affected parts of South Yorkshire, Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire in early November, with a long-running weather station at Sheffield going back to 1883, recording its wettest autumn on record. During the year, there were in total six named storms, but overall it wasn't a particularly stormy year compared to recent decades. Since the end of 2019, the weather has continued to make headlines. February 2020 was the wettest month we've ever recorded, and that was followed by the sunniest spring. This, of course, will all be documented in next year's report, but it just goes to emphasize further why observing and understanding our weather and climate closely and accurately is more important now than ever.